Hello guys and welcome to the next episode. So today it's going to be just showing off some black armor ideas. Um, I know a lot of people struggle with trying to get that black balance, make it look so it's not grey, it's not just flat, so you've got a bit of shape to it and such. So all we're using today is obviously up to long black, and we've got the Winton Paint Grey and the Aptalung Snow White on our usual bit of cardboard with baking parchment glued to it. Kitchen roll, just two brushes today. So I'm just using a size two and a size one. Got some white spirits and obviously tissue paper and this marine from the Blackstone Fortress set. So the difference this episode, normally we tend to put like a color and then the color next to it, like the, the next highlight going next to it, and then blend them together. We won today. I get the middle color, the paint's gray. Spread it out a little bit on the, the palette. And cover the entire section. In this case, we're just going to concentrate on the leg. Yeah, just cover the entire section in gray. Make sure you get into the, the recesses. A quick dab in the white spirits. Clean it off. Then we get our black. Dab that around just the edges. Anywhere we want it to be darker. Not going to worry about any small details. Just a quick example of how to do the art. the brush quickly with this I get the smaller brush at this point just blend it out into our grey it's gonna be quite an interesting to try and see once we put the white in it'll be more visible I might obviously keep it darker in our recesses the brush. Uh, I'm just going to switch brush permanently. Get our white. Don't need much. So in this, I'm thinking light coming here. So along this this area. Big top in. Up more. Make sure, obviously, if you when you use white spirit, you make sure to get a good, good white so it's mostly dry, and just start blending it out and those edges. Occasionally wiping the brush off. For me, at the moment, that's still very harsh. Blend it all the way in. Remember with the oils, where you pull it from, you pull from the dark, blend darker, in the sense of like, you pull this way, the dark colour will go across, go from the lighter and go in, as long as the brush tip is clean, then the lighter colour will blend that way, so that if I was to pull it this way, go lighter, lighter, you could lighten it all up going this way, go that way from the dark, it would darken it all down. You can kind of see it coming together here. So, the reflectivity of oils. Yeah. And a little bit more. Get that light spot exactly where I want it. And as per usual, so that, yeah, as per usual, I'll hit it with some of the purity seal to mat it down so you can actually see the effect. Um, but I'm not doing any fancy edge highlighting or anything like this the way I want it. Um, Want it like the center panels to kind of be the slightly lighter areas if they're the one to caption it. 
So I'll be back in just a second. So get that into focus. Here we go. Here's two examples. The one here, it's the one we just did. That nice and dark. We've got that hint of a highlight coming towards it. And the other one, the back of his leg, so I left it a little bit darker. Um, but yeah, it's that easy. It's pretty quick as well. Pretty quick to do. You can do the whole model very quickly um, with this technique. I hope that's given you some ideas. A slightly different way to what we normally do. And um, I hope it shows you, the, start showing you the variety of different ways you can play around with oils. It's it's a medium that's not been explored enough, I think, in modern days by miniature painters. It really really needs people time ago. Yep, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And hopefully see you on the next video.